Okay, so this is question four of the mock paper for Maths Junior Cert, paper one. And it starts off, this is an indices and a number question. So for each of the following, write down the value of x. Now, make sure you understand what this kind of notation is talking about here. That means anywhere between 21 and 27, because that little line there means less than or equal to, where x is greater than or equal to, but less than or equal to 27. So it's between 21 and 27. So a square number between 21 and 27 is 25, because that equals 5 multiplied by 5. So another square number, another square number would be 4 multiplied by 4, which is 16. That would be a square number. A multiple of 7, well that's 21, because 3 times... 7 is equal to 21. A factor of 66 is 22 because 66 divided by 22 gives me a whole number, which is 3. Okay, therefore it's a factor. A cube number is a number by a number by a number. So in this case, it's 3 by 3 by 3. So 27, which is 3 cubed. Okay, and then finally, a prime number is 23, a number that can only be divided by itself and the number 1. So there are the list of numbers there. Part B. The square root of 27 plus the square root of 75 minus the square root of 12 is equal to k times the square root of 3, where k is an element of the integers. Find the value of k. So let's have a look. Whenever you're simplifying a third or a square root number, all right, I always try to factorize the 27 in such a way that I end up with a square number. So watch, let's have a look. Square root of 27 is the same as the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 3. 9 times 3 is 27, and 9 is a perfect square, so that can be changed to 3 root 3. Then with plus 75, all right, in this case I can go 25 and 3, so the square root of 25 and the square root of 3, and the square root of 25 is equal to 5, and the square root of 3 just stays the same, all right, and then minus 12, I'm going to say minus 12, the square root of 12 is going to equal minus the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 3, which is equal to minus 2 root 3. Okay, so now I can replace these three values with each of these. So I get 3 root 3 plus 5 root 3 minus 2 root 3. And if you look at this, the terms are all the same. They're all root trees, so therefore they can actually be added together. So 3 plus 5 is 8, so we get 8 root 3 minus 2 root 3. Again, the terms are the same. 8 minus 2 is 6 root 3. K is equal to 6. Okay. Let's have a look at the next part. Simplify cube root of x to the power of 6. Okay, so you need to know a little bit about your laws of indices here, or laws of thirds. And cube root of x is the same as x to the power of a third, all right? Which means that I can change this to x to the power of a third, and all of that is to the power of 6. Remember your laws of thirds again, which is the same as x to the power of 1 over 3 multiplied by 6, which is just 6 over 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so you get x to the power of 2, simplified to x squared. Okay, and that's C part one. And we move on to the last part then, C part two, which says simplify 3y squared multiplied by 10y to the power of 3. Okay, well the first thing I'll do is, I'm just going to rewrite this, so 3y squared stays the same, and 10y to the power of 3 is the same as 1000 by y cubed. Cubed, and all of that is over 2y to the power of 5. All right, and if you multiply, see again, now our terms are the same, y squared, sorry, y squared and y cubed, but they both have y's. If you know your law of indices, then so any number to the power of, say, 3 multiplied by the same number to the power of 2 is equal to a to the power of 5. So y to the power of 2, y to the power of 3 becomes 3,000 uh, y to the power of 5 over 2y to the power of 5. And y to the power of 5 divides into each other, it's cancelled, and 3,000 divided by 2 is 1,500. And that's your answer there. And that's the end of question 4.